I can't believe she got trapped by cheese. I've always wanted to do that. But that's not important right now, because we got to stick to the plan like Polly stuck to cheese. I'll talk to Mr. Quidnunk. And I'll go get Polly. Hurry. Right. Tiny power. You again? Um, am I supposed to tip? Uh, maybe I got a quarter around here somewhere. Uh, no, it's just I, um, uh, had a gut feeling that you were the kind of customer who could handle an extra special pizza with new and improved pineapples. <laughs> Shawnee! You brought the locket! Now I have a plan for how we can get out. Actually, Pierce has a great plan. The guy who planned to make and deliver 100 pizzas in one afternoon doesn't exactly have the best plan track record. <laughs> but my pineapples are just fine, see? Huh, those pineapples seem okay. But I've got a pizza with a rare new kind of pineapple. <laughs> it looks the same, but tastes better. All right, I'll give it a try. Thanks, Mr. Q. No, thank you, son. Go big! <sighs> it worked! Thanks, Pierce. You're okay. Oh, man, I was so worried. That boy really loves pizza. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad I have a best friend and best brother who I can count on to help me. <sighs> Anytime, Polly. Yeah, I'm here whenever you need me. <gasps> Pierce, you missed the deadline. Now you won't get the tickets. Ah, uh, it's okay, Polly. There'll be other competitions that I'll win, obviously. But it's more important to make sure that my sister's safe. Thanks, Pierce. We should still probably deliver the rest of the pizzas, though. Oh, right. Yeah, let's do that. Go big pizzas! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> oh, did you see that? As cool as it would have been to win front row seats, this is even better. And now you get to enjoy one of the best parts of being tiny huge pizza! <laughs> A dream come true. <laughs> Help you with that. Mm, so good. Dinosaurs, ancient Egypt, and space exhibits? It's like they plucked out all my dreams and put it into one building. Remember, we've got a super packed schedule with a limited amount of time left. Thanks to someone's fascination with extinct species. sure know how to make a kid feel special. Or ancient. <laughs> What's next on the list? The Ancient Egypt Exhibition? Cleopatra is literally a fashion icon. Not to mention the tombs. <laughs> how about we go and get some close encounters of the Polly kind? <gasps> you mean we're gonna visit the alien convention after this? Polly, you've truly outdone yourself. I mean, uh, not exactly. I was just thinking, what if we shrink ourselves down so we can look at everything up close? Sage exhibit is next on the list, but I'm willing to compromise my integrity just this once. Your secret's safe with me, Shawnee. Who knew 
the planets had such fabulous designs on them. Saturn's ring is truly inspired. Actually, Lila, did you know Saturn is eight rings, not just one? I knew watching that space documentary last night would pay off. Shawnee, what's something you've always wanted to do in space? Perform a selection of Melody's greatest hits with a supersonic communication satellite in hopes of attracting alien life? Uh, <clears throat> attract for science and research purposes, obviously. <laughs> right. <laughs> and is the second thing playing cosmic dodgeball like that one episode in Why Girls you always talk about? Whoa! Careful, Polly. You know what they said about Icarus in the sun, right? That he was really great at flying and nothing went wrong? Try again. Don't worry, we won't fly too close to the sun. Besides, this one is not even hot. All right, but only for a little while. Huh? Perfect, I'm not it! Oh boy. We destroyed the biggest planet in the entire solar system! I'm gonna be exiled from space camp forever! It's not the end of the world, <laughs> okay? Uh, we can fix this. We just have to be a little inventive, that's all. Go big! <laughs> Polly, we're done for. There's no way we can fix this ourselves. We've got to tell somebody. Uh, miniature Earth to Shani. If we tell somebody what we did, we'll be grounded forever. Oh, I should have listened to you, Shani. I just wanted you to have the best museum visit ever. But I got carried away. You're right. We can't fix this ourselves. We have to come clean. It's the right thing to do. You're right, Shawnee. And hey, even if we get grounded forever, at least we can say we restored balance to the universe. Woohoo! Uh, <clears throat> uh, we made a mistake. And we, we would, would like, like to fix, fix it. it. Grounded for like two weeks. Balance restored to the universe. <laughs> oh, I think rocket! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We've got to help Pax make something cool so he can be popular like these kids. So he can be on his way to winning all around genius. Right. Come on. Wait, all around genius? Housey? Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Sweet house, Paxman! Yes! <laughs> yellow! Yellow! Uh -huh. It's just a bunch of yellow spots! This won't win him all around genius! And then he'll never be a pop star! We gotta help! Right! Wait, pop star? You were right. This kid's got some of that genius stuff. Quick, Pierce, hide! 
I was gonna show you the primo house he built, but dude's already moved on to this rad self-portrait. Impressive skills in engineering and art. If he shows musical talent as well, he could be our contender for the all-around genius award. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. No popping packs, that's icky. Try playing this. No xylophone. No poe no peos. Maybe we're cramping his style? No way, tiny power. Hey, you can't just shrink a guy without asking. Let's go. Pierce, remember Twinkle Twinkle? Yeah. Whoa. Jump to the keys. No, no, Howie, no, no, P.S. No, 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 no. Look, stardom for us. Groovy. Little dude's a virtuoso. Wait here, friends. I'm taking the Paxman to Principal Snooty Kens. I thought we were trying to help him make friends. He'll make plenty of friends when he's a star. Now let's go make sure he can perform for Snootykins. your unicorns having the power to communicate telepathically? Uh, there's nothing I won't believe after tonight. Your head's bothering you, huh? That's why you keep rubbing it. It's like my baby brother. He's teething. I thought it was annoying for me, but I never thought about how annoying it must be for him. Sometimes we can be hard on the babies of our families, but that doesn't mean we don't love them. I love Pax more than anything, and I know your family loves you too. And I bet they miss you. Go on, Marshmallow. Your family needs you. <laughs> hey, I got your baby! <laughs> Monster! <laughs> oh, whoa, Rose! You see, I met Polly and Mrs. P in the woods and... He ate Polly and Mom! No! It's not like that. <laughs> My mom instincts say there's trouble at the campsite. We better hurry back. What do you say, Mom? To riding a unicorn? I say giddy up! Kapow! Stay back! Wait, wait! I'm trying to protect you! How could you protect us from you? From me? I'm not the monster. I prefer the term cryptid. Wow! Stop biting me, baby bro! Had a boy, Pax? Show that monster what your baby teeth did to my favorite telescope! I'm Polly's friend! Please take this baby off my hands! Oh! <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> uh, sorry for assuming you were a Paxton-eating monster. <laughs> to help you sew those teeny-weeny details onto your design, right? I did get third place in an out-of-town... Miniature sewing bee, I know. Anyway, 
I brought my toolkit just in case. It's totally okay. Really, Polly, you don't have to worry about me. I promise I have everything definitely 100% under control. Shawnee! <gasps> so good to see you. Uh, well, now that you have some company, Polly, I better go and get some uh, snacks for us all. Snacks? Yeah, I've run out and I'd hate to be a bad host. Adios! Mm. Mm. Oh, come on, you've gotta be kidding me! No fabric stores open within a five mile radius? How is that possible? <gasps> oh no, there's no way I'm gonna finish the design now! She's not getting snacks, is she? Nope. Why doesn't she just ask us for help? I'm sure she will. Eventually. Oh boy! I better get going. I'm on table setting duty for dinner tonight. Not to mention the new trailer for the White Girls is dropping and I've been dodging spoilers all week. Hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. Huh? But I can always watch the trailer tomorrow. And turn off my message alerts. <laughs> Maybe we could help Lila with some of the smaller designs, just in case. Tiny Palace! you, Polly, but I'm feeling a little tired. <sighs> Me too. Okay. I think it's time we take just a little break. Get the snacks. I'm really bad at lying, huh? Hmm. You know I hate doing this, right? I'm overwhelmed and I need help. But I hate asking for help. It makes me feel so helpless. Oh, Lila, it's all right. And hey, we still have plenty of time to get everything done. We do? Absolutely. Well, with a little help from Tiny power! Grandma. Uh, listen, we've got a tiny problem. 
Oh, dear. You're right. It's time to tell Richard the family secret. I'll be there as soon as I can. Richard! Beat the high score already? I have something important to tell you. I accidentally spent your misprint six. Uh, yeah. Except for this one. But don't worry. We can get them back because I have something important to tell you, too. <sighs> Just don't freak out. Tiny power! <gasps> Whoa! Way not to freak out. You're cool as a cucumber, man. Thank you. But I do wonder how you're so tiny now. The pocket family secret. Pocket power. This locket has been in our family for generations. And this Prince Six will be mine. Oh, mine! Now, which games were those youngsters playing? Oh, dear. We must use tiny power to retrieve my quarters before that fiend does. What do the quarters look like? Other than, you know, quarters. The differences are very tiny, if you'll pardon the pun. Here, I'll text you each a photograph of the collection. Thanks, Richard. Now we're ready. One other thing. I was saving these for the parking meter, but we can swap them for the misprints. Tiny power quarters! Yeah. Amazing! Now shrink me so we can get inside the machines. Uh, actually, Pierce and I will do the digging. As brother and sister, we've got it down. But you can be Captain Distraction and make sure that Chad dude doesn't get the quarters. Totally! So anything you can do to slow him down will be a big help. Oh, okay. I'll try my best. Tiny power! I think that's one of them. Yeah, it matches one of the quarters in the photo Richard sent us. Tiny power quarter. Now, to replace it with a regular quarter. Go big quarter. One down. You mean a lot down? Someone must be playing the game. Run! <laughs> yeah! Go big! Tiny power! You gotta give it a good push, mister. Like this. <laughs> it's all in the wrist. Oh. <gasps> Do my eyes deceive me? Excuse me, young man. Would you explain to me how that newfangled game works? Of course, sir. You refer to, uh, the hoop shooter? Yes, I can't figure out if you kick the ball or hit it with a bat. You shoot hoops. 